Welcome everyone to race number 21 of the Cup Series. We're back at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Winnie Calhoun, who won the first event, starts on pole. Michael Brown starts alongside her. Here's the full qualifying results. And here is the race command. Crank them engines! Alright, engines fired up. Here we go. So we're using the next gen 4 cars once again. Yeah, the field is rolling off. Yeah, a lot of skid marks ran happy hour for a little bit. Just so OBS can pick up the uh, pick up NR2003. Yeah, you gotta wait for OBS to do it. It's weird, but only for this game. But that's okay. As long as it works. So Calhoun on pole. Looking to sweep here at Atlanta Motor Speedway and will win in two different cars and trouble. Nick Kennedy already up in smoke. Trying to force his way down to the inside. He's got the 52 of Kip Silver Point in the way. Should be able to get by here now. Don't wreck. Don't wreck, don't wreck. Ah, oh, they're wrecking. Kennedy stopped on the track. We're about to get the green. All right, they're not calling out the start. We're going green this time. Base car to pit road. Here we go. Getting ready for the green flag. And the green flag is out. We're underway here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Under the lights. Also have some new paint schemes in this series, not all of them, just some. Here comes Kenny Johnson on the 14, gonna try to make a three wide for the race lead. He's got it. Tito McCoy in the 11 there, now trying to take the position, but Kenny Johnson will lead lap number one. Speeds nearing 200 miles an hour. Almost flat out. Tony Green in the 42 now to the front. They are very fast tonight. Colin Cropley in the 12, the Road America winner. Now looking for the race lead. Oh man, four wide back there. Oh, the three, Eric Monaco. Oh, big hit. And we got ourselves a wreck, but they kept it straight. Almost. Incredible. No caution. We stay green. Here comes Jeff Scott in the 37 now. Cropley able to cut down in time and put the block. Harris behind there in the third. Stripe balls in fourth. Look at this huge pack. Vargas in the 10. And it's a reversal of his original paint scheme. Whoa. Oh, there we go. 22, 23, and they're wrecking. And the yellow flag is out this time. All right, Jeff Scott is our leader. Hopefully they'll wreck again, just to make sure. Uh, okay, that was close. All right, let's take a look at the replay. So, Kenny Johnson in the 14 there. He hooks the back end of Malik Nevins. Although Nevins looks like he came down on him. And he wasn't cleared at clock to 22. Both of them go spinning. 43 just gets pinned. Nevins backs it into the wall. And who is that? That's a 7 Alex in a row. Who gets collected. So that's our first caution of the night. I believe I thought we were going to have a much bigger wreck than that. But only 3-4 car wreck here. Yeah, four car wreck. Yeah, outside line. Nowhere to go there. But of course, before we take you back to the restart, take a look at the uh, other wreck. The three. Yeah, we saw Eric Monaco. He was down in the grass. It was the 51 Holiday who got in the back of him. So he went right through the grass, came back onto the racing surface, doors the 99, into the outside wall hard. 
the 48 into the back of the 32. Anderson helped them straighten it out a little bit, and he pancakes the outside wall. But yeah, they managed to keep it straight, so no caution for that. So, alright. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green, so as expected, Kennedy will finish last. Gonna get that car rolling anymore. The 99 and the 48 are on the inside. Alright, here we go. Jeff Scott out in front. His car pulling in the pit road. First restart of the night. Here we go. Green flag is out, and we're back underway. The 40 will aid in Orman, not for position, as Martins is only just two laps down. Oh, we got crash right off the start. We just spun. Oh, Tony Green. I think he has mechanical failure. But no caution. If Tony Green with issues here. Here comes Cropley in the 12 to the inside, trying to make it two in a row. Time finish, scored his first career cup win. Running good again so far tonight. Help, and the yellow flag is out. Alright, our second yellow of the night. Colin Cropley is our leader. Let's take a look at the replay. So, no surprise that a uh, slap, uh, slap, a uh, lap car got in the way and caused the wreck. Rodriguez in a 19. Actually, no, it's the one. Yep, the 99 slid up. And then right in front of David Davison, had no idea that was going to happen. And Mar uh, Martins is just bouncing all over the place. And, and eventually, once they enter turn th the three, they all started wrecking. And then the 99 up and over he went. Huge wreck, taking out a lot of cars. The double zero, Connor Breen T boned. He nearly went upside down. And the 11 gone to Kenny Johnson. Almost got through that. A lot of wreck race cars here. Well, for Atlanta standards, that's not a pretty big wreck. We seem bigger. That's more like medium. Yeah, we seem bigger at, at all racetracks. So yeah, that's the medium one here at Atlanta. David Davison just cannot believe that just happened there. Just came right in front of him. No way they could have saved it this time. Yeah, there's, yeah, been, uh, that was the 62 of Anderson. He was already slipping and sliding, which is good. Because if he was still going straight at almost full speed, Connor Breen would have been launched for sure. Yeah, I think Anderson, he got into the 66. Yeah, so Connor Breen, well, despite uh, still a hard hit, it would have been a lot harder. You see, Hodak's also involved, Toby McCoy, and... Uh, Eric Monaco again, Holiday, Row again. And uh, before I take you back to the restart again, yep. So you have Tony Green in the 42. Mechanical failure right before they got to the green. Tito McCoy gets into him. And goes right around. So that's what happened on the start there for the 42 car. Huh, 24 and 42, both with issues with their race cars. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Getting ready to go green. So it was just an engine for Tony Green there, so the chat box would be right. Nothing else. Alright, here we go. 29 cars remaining on the racetrack, 27 on the lead lap. Sonata 32 is on the inside. Ryan Butcher. He won the truck race here, last night. Got a slim chance of winning tonight's race as we're back underway. So as you know, the next gen 4 cars, some teams opt to change their manufacturers, like Penske is in the Dodge, JTG uh, Doherty is in the Honda. And so is uh, Ganassi Racing, they're also in the Dodge, and Front Row Motorsports and the Nissan. And a few also take Honda as well. So as expected, slow car is getting in the way here. Foreman not that slow, but pretty slow. The 32, mega slow. Oh, 19 of Rodriguez. Great save. 
Oh, whoa, oh, no. And there we Yep, Brian Butcher goes around. They'll bring out a third caution of the night. Call him probably in a 12. And we usually take this yellow flag. No pressure from behind. And there it is. All right, third yellow of the night. Colin Crop plays the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. Now, I was hoping Ryan Butcher wasn't going to slide in front, but he did anyways. Nothing Holiday can do there. Right on board with Holiday. Involved in another wreck. Small one though. Just got into the wall, made a little contact. That's all right. So Ryan Butcher now even more damage to his race car. You know, it's gonna be, be even more slower, unless he decides to retire from the race. Other than that, he'll just hold up the field again and possibly cause another caution. All right, we'll take you back to the restart. All right, getting ready to go green. So now there's three cars, one lap down. Nick Wilcox we saw on pit road under yellow. Some more slow cars to deal with. Might take that rule out again. Maybe. Yeah, as we're back on our way. It helps the uh, non-slow cars, non-damaged cars to get their laps back and complete a comeback. Making it a very... Yeah, making it easier. Yeah, they start single file. It makes it exciting. So you have here Brian Butcher in the middle. Holding up the outside. Nick Wilcox going to give him the inside. As well as Ryan Butcher, but he's still got cars on the outside, and there he goes! Oh no! And we're under yellow again, and... Once again, let's call him Cropley in a 12. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. So yeah, Ryan Butcher, well, even though he didn't... Well, he did crash. So the... He, he tried to give him the... He, he slid up. Gave him room. But then Brad Chesson hooks, Stripe Paws, Stripe Paws bounces off Ryan Butcher, or not bounces off Ryan Butcher, just bottom, uh, bounces off the uh, 21 of Collins and then back into the 32. And both of them go spinning and crashing into the wall. Yeah, I think Ryan Butcher should just park it, even though there's a lot of potential free positions he can gather. But he's just way, way too slow. He's just getting in everyone's way. All right, so we'll take you back to the restart. All right, lights are out. Getting ready to go green. Still got the same amount of cars from the last restart. So Colin Cropley, who won Road America, gained five spots after that victory. He's now 21st in the point standings. Now with the one win, four top fives and six top tens, a 20.65 average finish. So he gained a decent amount with that win. Another win, he'll Definitely gain a, another five or more, possibly. All right, here we go. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Fifty-two Kip Silver points. We almost made it two in a row. Till that overtime have after a Trevor Collins crashed and. End up forcing it in overtime, and once again, they found themselves first and second, these two again. But this time, Cropley is leading, and Silver Point is second. Cropley so far has led the most laps tonight, and here comes Silver Point to the inside, looking to get that back. Yeah, that sh easily should have been her win. But, uh, yeah, that's such a poorly timed yellow flag. And here comes Oaks in a 9 car. We know he is the worst performing Henry car out there. Looking to change that. He'll still be pretty deep in the points, but he'll have one thing if he were to win. Close to one teammate. He'll have a win. Nick Kennedy, we know he didn't start tonight's race after having mechanical failures on the start. Here comes the 10 of Vargas. Yeah, his cup season has been pretty bad too. Still no top fives for this 10 team. As you know, Atlanta Spectator camera is the best spectator camera. Get to see the runs they get. And it stays nice and perfect. Oh, and a 10 hooks the back of the 9. 
but he still led that lap. Great drive by the nine car. Here comes Harris in the four. Harris has been slipping. He's down to 18th in points. Yeah, this four team needs to turn things around quick. They were top 10 for a little bit. Definitely the uh, black sheep in the top 10 at that time. Yeah, but now there's right there in the top 20. Calhoun in a 15 Sutter on pole for tonight's race. Working their way back up to the front. The six of Josh King now to the inside. Oh, the 41 Tim Randolph sideways through the turns. Tim Randolph has retaken the points lead. On a small slump, but not that big of a slump. A favorite to win the championship? Possibly. Got the one win very early in the season. Now looking for win number two. Will be the fourth driver. No, wait. Uh, yes, fourth. Fourth driver to do it if he does. Fisher in the five. He's been falling back a little bit, but he was able to gain three spots after Road America, so he's back in the top ten. Now looking for his third win. He'll be the first to do so if he does. Uh oh. Slow car gonna be in the way. Where do you go? Inside or outside? It's gonna be the outside. 41 and 6 able to get away. The middle line being held up. 5 and 52 are the only two being held up. Here comes that other pack. Contact. Oh, they're gonna wreck. Silver point around. Cole Colby gets collected. Oh, more cars coming in the way and they get collected too. Hard hit. 43 into the wall again. More cars, 51, 48. Huge hits all around. And the caution flag is out once again. Tim Randolph leads, let's take a look at the replay. Kip Silver Point and don't want to lose any by position. She quickly cut down to the inside. But there's no way the, uh, that's the 38 right, Trevor Collins could slow down in time. So ends up bumping her and then spinning her out. Also collecting the 34, Cole Colby. All three of the front row cars were in that pack. Blazy Batar just catches the 34, then Collins in the 21. Hard hit on the concrete wall. Missed the safer bear and then gets hit again. Back into the wall there and then the up there just piling in. 51, 48. 52, Kip Silver Point takes a hard hit. From the 51 Holiday, Nevins also collected. Nathan Orman in the 48th. And he's done for the night. The two of Toby McCoy able to get through. Oh, never mind. No, he didn't. Oh, it looked like it was clear. But he just nabs the 43, and now his car is completely done. Oh, and the 22, his teammate as well. Oh, he caught the 48 car as well. Two Penske cars. Two Penske cars plus uh, their Alliance teammate, which, yeah. But they're do they're running Dodges tonight, though, not Fords. Oh, and the 17. Oh, there's oh my God, they're just wrecking all over the place. Who does the stripe pause tag? 48. Yeah, the 48. Okay, so it wasn't a hat trick for Blazy Pitar. Pounds the outside wall. At least catches the safer barrier. That's a lot of wreck race cars. It just gets clipped. There's a small nab from a almost stationary car and just completely totals it. Alright, somehow Kipso Point's driving it, but you know, she is done for the night. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green. So, uh, Martin Stone, piston problems, so he's out. As we're getting ready to go green. Four laps to go when they get the green flag. Tim Randolph out in front. Josh King, Jeff Scott, Winnie Calhoun, and Kristen Vargas. Two drivers in the top five looking for their first win of the season. Here we go. So who will it be? Repeat or a new winner? Will it be like the truck race? We'll see. Here we go. Green flag. Great restart for Tim Randolph. But you got four laps. They're going to close in on him. Car. Not a lot of cars left, so hopefully they get by to 32 easily. 38 still being held up. There we go. 
should be clear now. Don't think we're gonna catch. Uh, Sorry about that. Three laps to go here. Tim Randolph losing a lead. Christian Vargas, his teammate, now takes over. Winnie Calhoun in a 15 in second. Can she cut down to the inside in time? No, Chris Kyle's there on the inside. The 20 team. Yeah, they've been the, been the worst performing Joe Gibbs car out there. But right now, they're in second with two laps to go. Can they win tonight's race? Be a huge win. Chris Kyle, Stephen Oaks. Driving for two big-name teams who had very poor seasons. Looking to turn things around. Oh, Chris Kyle and Vargas got together. Vargas is in the wall. Probably the 12 to the front once again. He's got a big lead. Here we go. White flag. One more lap to go. Will they be able to catch Colin Cropley? They're side by side. I don't think so. I think Cropley's going to do it. Going to be win number two. Second win in a row, possibly. Harris to the inside. No, Harris has a problem. Harris pulls to the, to the apron. The four car has issues. Fisher on the outside. They're not going to do it. Checkered flag is out. Colin Cropley. It's going to be win number two, two in a row, Cropley wins at Atlanta. Oh man, what a dramatic battle that was. The 10 of Vargas finishes 12th. And uh, Chris Kyle still able to get a top 10 out of that. And something happened to Harris there at the end. Oh, he had a tire go down. Harris finishes 17th. All right, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it, Colin Cropley. His second cup win, second of the season, and second in a row. The 12 team is on fire, and I just remembered that Penske finally got their first win, and now they just got their second win of the season. Ramian Fisher is second for him, earning his fourth top five finish of the season. Winnie Calhoun was so close to sweeping here at Atlanta, she'll have to settle for third tonight. Uh, third place, or no, fourth place for Jeff Scott. That'll uh, bump him up even more. Probably push him back up in, into the top 10, possibly. Or into the top 10. Not back into it. Whatever. Uh, Rain Dancer, a fifth place finish for her. Josh King finishing sixth. Tim Randolph, a seventh place run for him. Chris Kyle, eighth. Stephen Oaks, ninth. Those two definitely needed these top 10 finishes tonight. And Carlos Rodriguez, a tenth place finish for him. All right, so that is the top 10 finishers of tonight's race. So 18 cars finished the race. And uh, 16 of them finishing on a lead lap. Here is the rest of the race results. And Nick Kennedy, the only car that did not start, he will finish last. So yeah, that was a pretty uh, good Atlanta race there. Got crazy at the end with two laps to go. With a 20 and a 10. Yeah, when they got together, probably was able to swoop by and able to pull away a little bit and it was just enough uh, just enough of a cushion to hang on and win the race Fisher could not close in yeah he tried a different line he also had, had uh, Harris on the inside so they were side by side for a little bit but even then yeah I don't think uh, they could have catch even if Fisher was single file just enough of a gap so that is it here at Atlanta Motor Speedway I believe our next race will be in New Hampshire Colin Cropley, the race winner once again, went out to YouTube Victory Lane.